Hi, kia ora, listeners. I'm Clayton. Let's learn sumo. Welcome back to the podcast. Remember to subscribe and go to Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook to our Let's Learn Sumo pages and leave me a question, leave me a comment. So we're at day eight of the Aki Basho in Tokyo. Uh, this one is working out to be a little bit unusual. The Ozekis seem to be making hard work of it halfway at the halfway mark. Kirishima and Takakesho both five and three after eight days with three wins each needed to avoid their Karaban status to push them back to Sekiwake. Look, they're making hard work, but they should make another three wins over those last seven days. Who is in real trouble? Well, our Shin Ozeki Hoshoryu is in real trouble at three and five after day eight, and he's needing five wins from the last seven days to avoid Karaban status on his first go. Sakiwake, they're not doing much better. Wakamoto Haru is doing fine at 6-2. and two. He should get his Kachikoshi up. He's looking okay. Uh, Daesho and Kotonowaka, well, they've both kind of done it a little bit hard. They're 4-4 four and four at uh, day 8. As always, at the halfway mark, we have some of our lower-ranked Magashira wrestlers having success with Atami Fuji at Magashira 15. He's now leading at 7-1. and one. Uh, Sudagishio is at Magashira 16. He's recording a 6 and 2. Uh, Miyagiru at Magashira 13. Well, he's doing well at 6 and 2 as well. Our highest ranker at uh, 7 and 1 uh, with Tami Fuji is our big hairy bear, Takayasu. Uh, he's beaten Gonayama, Hiradumi, Midori Fuji, and Mitakuyumi uh, on his way to his 7 and 1 win, where I mean, if you look at the guys, Atami Fuji, Surigisho, and Miyagiru, most of those wins that these guys have had have been lower than about Magashira 10. So they'll start coming up against some of the more higher-ranked Sanyaku guys if they keep punching out these wins, and that might sort out a few of those. Our biggest failures at day eight, well, our Magashira 3, Tamawashi, he's having a shocker. He's... Uh, got himself a Kachikoshi 8 and 7 in July, but so far at day 8, he is winless. He is 0 and 8, and now granted, he has faced all of the Sanyaku ranks except for Daesho. Um, so one would hope that maybe he might pick up a few of these wins uh, going into the second week, but at this stage, he's already Makikoshi, so he's already got his losing record up. So let's have a look at uh, day 6, 7, and 8. We'll have a look at some of the matches there. Day six, Hoshoryu. Well, he defeated a Sanayama. Uh, look, they both got a one arm grip at the touchy eye. A Sanayama, he tried a few throwing moves, both went back to the bales. Hoshoryu just got a better grip and pulled him over for a throw. Um, look, Hako Ho, the former uh, Yokozuna great, who, you know, probably one of the greatest of all pretty much criticised Asanayama and said he really needs to do some better sumo if he wants to return to Uzeki. And look, it's really hard to disagree with a few of those losses against Hashoryu, Kirishima, Takan, Keisho and Nishikigi. Um, I, I did pick Asanayama for this tour, uh, for this basho, but uh, look, going into halfway, I doubt that's going to happen at this stage. Kirishima defeated Shodai uh in day six, Kirishima, he went straight for the neck grip to keep Shodai at a distance. He defended with the other arm from the grip and then got his left arm under Shodai's armpit. They moved to the bale and it was a pretty easy Sukunage beltless armpit throw uh, for Kirishima. Uh, Takakesho, well, he faced poor old Tamawashi. Uh, big strong touchy eye, big Supari thrusting, but Poor old Tamawashi, he just couldn't match it. He ended up a little bit upright and went over for an Oshidashi push-out. Kotonowaka, he defeated Nishikigi. Uh, Kotonowaka, he won the touchy eye, which just gave him all that momentum, and it was pretty weak sumo from Nishikigi, if you're honest. Oshidashi win. Uh, Ura defeated Daesho. Ura, he loses to Daesho's momentum at the touchy eye, and he kind of went backwards to the bales, but... Daesho seemingly backed up and allowed Ura some forward movement there for a moment as Daesho went back and he stepped out as Ura did a spinning acrobatic move to end up on his back right at the corner near the salt bucket and Daesho went off into the crowd. Uh, but it was Ura's win for an Oshidashi despite his acrobatic uh, jump down. You might see a replay of that one. It was quite spectacular. 
Uh, Wakamoto Haru defeated Tobizaru, 5-0 for Wakamoto Haru over Tobizaru. It was a really strange low touchy eye from Tobizaru. Maybe he was trying to be a bit defensive, uh, knowing that Wak- once Wakataka, uh, sorry, not Wakataka Kage, his younger brother, Wakamoto Haru, once he has your belt grip, you're pretty much done. Either way, he was too low. Wakamoto Haru got him moving backwards, and Tobizaru just couldn't recover, and he went out Oshidashi. Uh, other matches, Meisei defeated uh, Abi by an Oshidashi. This one was a little bit uh, unusual. Uh, Meisei got the win, but to be honest, it probably should have been a Mono E judges conference to have another look at that one. It was an arm grab by Abi, and he stayed up, but Abi tried to avoid the movement, which got him against the bales, going sideways and uncontrolled. And Excuse me. As he jumped backwards, Meisei went down forwards onto his face. Now, Arby was still in, but he was airborne as Meisei hit. The Gyoji called it for Meisei. Judges were happy. The replays were perhaps a little bit less generous. Look, you might... Some people on social media maybe mentioned that Arby is not a favourite with the sumo committee with some of his uh, previous disciplinary problems in both uh, COVID and uh, some of his previous social media antics, and maybe they weren't feeling generous. Anyway, some of the other matches on day six. Hokuto Fuji beat Takanosho by a Sukiyatoshi. Uh, Shonanomi got Oho. Uh, Takayasu defeated Gonoyama. Uh, Kota Eko beat Onosho. Midori Fuji got a win up. Uh, which was good to see against Hokuseiho. Now, bear in mind that Hokuseiho has about 45, 50 centimetres in height and probably about 40 to 50 kilos on Midori Fuji. He's a big man, big tall man. Midori Fuji's only 171 centimetres and probably about 110 kilos if he's lucky. Um, Basically got a front grip on Hokuseiho and a really good grip at his back knot. Uh, just next to it, Hoka, Hoka Seho got a bit of a left grip and they tried. Uh, Hoka Seho tried to lift Midori Fuji unsuccessfully, tried to throw him, but if you go back to some of those older uh, videos of Midori Fuji and how he tried to prevent being thrown uh, back in 2016, 2017, it's very successful for him to hold his feet by uh, the way he goes about it. Midori Fuji tried a leg sweep, which pretty much put Hokuseiho off balance, and he just got a double push there for a, a Yori Kiri win over uh, Hokuseiho. It was a pretty good win. Uh, so that was day six. We moved on to day seven. Um, again, Kitashima, poor old Tamawashi, he went into that match and went down 0-7. Uh, it was a Tsukiyotoshi underarm diagonal throwdown, so a Tsukiyotoshi. Uh, Tamawashi just never got started and he kind of fell more than he was pushed. Uh, so not not a massive win there. Shodai defeated Taka Keisho, our other Ozeki. It was a pretty good match. Uh, Shodai absorbed some fairly fierce slaps from our Slap King Taka Keisho. Uh, he does like to throw a few slaps to see if he can distract the other opponent. They were pretty big grunts and... Uh, a lot of effort by both wrestlers in this one, but Shodai pushed hard to get Taka Keisho back to the bales and got him out for an Oshidashi. Nishikigi defeated our Shin Ozeki Hoshoryu. Nishikigi just had the momentum at the touchy eye and the power. Hoshoryu just didn't have the forward push there, and something's kind of telling me something's wrong with Hoshoryu. He just hasn't got the push. He hasn't got the balance. Something's gone fairly wrong in that uh, regard. It was a bit too easy for Nishikigi there. Daesho defeated Kotono Waka. Um, Kotono Waka, he just missed the grip entirely and uh, Daesho put him under pressure with a supari straight to the neck. Uh, Daesho missed a big one and Kotono Waka went forward thinking he was about to get hit and he just went down face first. Tsukiyotoshi, underarm diagonal throwdown they called it, but mm, I think uh, it's just an overbalance by Koto- uh, Kotono Waka. Wakamoto Haru defeated Hokuto Fuji. Uh, Wakamoto Haru got his grip. He lost it. He got it again and he lost it again and he persisted until they got back to the bales and Hako, Hakuto Fuji went out for a Yorikiri. Uh, once Wakamoto gets that grip, you're in big trouble. Tobizaru defeated Meisei. It was a long match exchanging thrusts back and forth, but Meisei forgot where he was and stepped back over the bales. Call it an Oshidashi, but I think if you ever wanted to see a Fumidashi rear step out, that was it. 
Uh, Asanayama took out Abi. Uh, he had a pretty good base. He absorbed Abi's neck hits that uh, Abi was trying on some of the Ozeki. Got him back to the bales. Pretty easy Oshidashi there. Shono Umi uh, defeated Koto Eko. Well, to be honest, Koto Eko got screwed, and I think he got screwed in one of the previous tournaments in May or July. Shonanumi got a big momentum at the touchy eye and forced Koto Eko back and over the bales, but simply put, Shonanumi's arm looked like a touchdown first while Koto Eko was still in contact with the bales. Yes, he was going backwards, but his foot was there. Did they call a mono e at judges' conference? Well, no, they didn't. And the win to Shonanumi stood. To be honest, I think that at worst it should have been a rematch, but I, I would actually, after the replay, give that to Koto Eko. I think that's twice in two uh, bashos that Koto Eko has probably been fairly hard done by there. Day 8, so Day 8's just finished, and we've got a couple of interesting leaders at this stage. So Atami Fuji defeated Aoyama. Poor old Aoyama, I think he's getting very close to uh, retirement there. Look, he's got good thrust up uh, in the upper body, but he's got absolutely no power down below. And as we've spoken about before, most of your power in sumo comes from those legs and the, the hips. And if you haven't got it, you're relying entirely on your shoulders. Only if you've got big shoulders like Koto Eko will that work for you. It doesn't work for Aoyama. So an easy Yorikiri win there for Atame Fuji. Maguriu defeated Dai Shoho. Uh, no outside grip for Dai Shoho. An inside position, but no grip for Miguriu. He pulled back and thrust Dai Shoho down. Chiyoshoma struggling at two and six after tonight. He defeated uh, Nishiki, Nishiki Fuji. Uh, a little bit of a hanker by Chiyoshoma. Turned Nish, Kigi, Nishiki Fuji around and pushed him out. Oshidashi. Uh, Surugisho defeated Takara Fuji. Both got a grip, to, uh, Takara Fuji pushed, but uh, Surugisho just turned Tuck around and it was a Yorokiri win for him. Uh, Kagiyaki defeated Sodonomi, uh, Hokuseiho defeated Koto Shoho, it's an outside rear grip. Uh, shifting right for a pretty good frontal crush out. Nothing too hard there. Uh, Yori Tayoshi, apparently, a frontal crush out uh, for Hokuseiho. Uh, Takiyasu defeated Mitakumi. Look, this was a pretty good thrusting battle. Some pretty good defence by both. Led them to a bit of a stalemate in the, in the middle. Uh, Mitakumi denied Takiyasu a uh, grip, but he was just too low and Takiyasu took advantage for a Hatakikomi slap down. That was a pretty good match if you want to watch that one. Day 8, Takiyasu and Mitakuyumi, if you can find that replay on the uh, uh, Grand Sumo app or somewhere. Uh, Endo defeated Oho. Endo had a grip on both, but he lost them both and got forced out. But it appears that Oho's left big toe touched the dirt first. So the Gyoji called it for Oho, but the uh, the judges called him on or E. And the replay showed, yes, Oho's little big toe just touched down as... Uh, he was going over and Endo was still in the air. So uh, a forward step out, Issei Maishi. Uh, next up, we had Osh Onosho defeated Kimbozan. Uh, met at the touchy eye, they bounced off and Onosho slapped Kimbozan down. Uh, Kimbozan's pretty fairly impressive this tournament. I uh, his, Some of his early matches have been pretty good. He had a pretty good... Um, Intent early on, but he seems to have fallen away the last couple of days. Midori Fuji defeated Ryudan. Uh, Ryudan's not having a great time of it, but uh, Midori Fuji dropped, uh, denied him an inside grip, kept his distance, uh, and probably Midori Fuji, one of his best attributes is he knows exactly where he is inside the, the ring. Uh, he's very ring aware about his uh, position, and he got two hands under the armpits and executed his classic uh, Katasukashi throw, which got Got him to a three and five. Look, bad start to the first week for Midori Fuji. Uh, last couple of days, I've seen some good signs there. Good stable base. He's, he seems to be getting back to some of his classic sumo and what, not taking the battle to the other people, doing what he does best, not what the other people do better. Uh, Goniyama defeated Koro Eko. Koro Eko tried to hank it to the left, and Goniyama just followed him for a push out. Uh, Shonanumi defeated Hiradumi. Uh, both got a grip. 
Shonanumi went for a throw. Hiradumi recovered. Shoha tried again. Shonan, oh, sorry, let me try that again. Shonanumi tried again. And he hopped it around for a shitata, uh, sorry, a Shitadanage throw. Uh, and so that was Hiradumi done. Shodai versus Ami, Abi. Uh, they met at the Tachiai. Abi fainted and fainted one way and let Shodai go face first out of the ring. Uh, Hikiyatoshi a frontal pull down. Uh, Daesho defeated Nishikigi. Uh, it was a really big neck attack by Daesho. Nishikigi tried to attack, but as he went forward, Daesho just got the Hitaki Komi slap down uh, and the judges called it. Not sure why this one was called a Monoi, but uh, they did. Anyway, they confirmed it for Daesho. Hokuto Fuji defeated Kotonowaka. It was a really funny touchy eye by Kotonowaka. He, he, I think he balked himself. He uh, went in, lost his momentum thinking that the uh, judge was going to, the Gyoji was going to stop it, but they kept going. Called Haki Oi, get on with it. Uh, back to the bales, he got a diagonal turn uh, and Koto uh, no Waka, he went to go forward and he just got slapped down, face down by an Oshiyatoshi push down. So next up, Wakamoto Haru, our Sekiwake. Well, he inflicted a little bit more pain on Tamawashi. Uh, it was a makikoshi for Tamawashi after tonight. It was a really strong touchy eye. But Wakamoto Haru, he just controlled it all the way. Sapari thrusts around, but he just was a bit too much for Tamawashi. He attacked the neck, and despite Wakamoto Haru not getting the grip, he used a pretty good shift to the left to break Tam- Tamawashi's balance, and a Takikomi slap down there too. Six and two for Wakamoto Haru after tonight, so he's in a pretty good position. Uh, our Ozeki versus Magashira 4, uh, Takanosho beat Kirishima. So he just overpowered him at the uh, touchy eye. Kirishima just wasn't really there. Some pretty good Sapari thrusting, and it was an Oshidashi win for Takanosho. Look, Kirishima he just looks like uh, he's not really in that form. Uh, a little bit of nerves knowing he's Karaban. Anyway, uh, he's still in it. Uh, five and four for Kirishima, four and four for Takanosho, but he really shouldn't have dropped this match. Uh, Hoshoryu uh, got taken out by Ura. Ura started from a long way back from the lines, tried to get both hand, uh, hands on uh, Ura's neck uh, as Ura went fairly low, but Ura pushed up and got Hoshoryu back to the bales. We had a little bit of a wobble of balance to get to the right, and as Ura pulled back, Hoshoryu went down face down on a Hitaki Komi slap down. Impatience, balance, uh, maybe just some pretty poor tactics to try and grab Ura's head. He, he tried to get both hands on the back of his head early. I just don't think that's a, a really good tactic for a, a, an Ozeki to be trying with someone like that. Uh, last match for the night, and I'll call this one our match of the day on day eight, Tobizaru versus Takakesho. Uh, really big touchy eye, as you would expect with Takakesho. Tobizaru, he's not backwards in coming forwards. No one got a grip, and Tobizaru just kept moving. He kept uh, trying to get the grip inside. Takakesho tried some big grabs at the neck and some thrust, but Tobizaru kept moving, and that's his uh, stock in trade, the flying monkey. He does like to move around a fair bit. Tobizaru finally got to a position where he got a double push on Takakesho after absorbing a few slaps from our Slap King. Uh, and sent Takakosho flying Oshidashi into the first row. Very worryingly, Takakosho lay there for a moment, face down, and it seems seems he kind of, as he went down, he smacked his face into the spectator's shoulder, right into his uh, cheek, on his left cheek. Uh, but he did get back up. He needed a little bit of help anyway as he's walking back to the uh, changing room. He didn't look like his knees were in too much drama there. There's more to do with his face, I think. Anyway, let's have a look at our leaderboard after this time. We've got uh, Atami Fuji, 7-1. and one. Now, Bear in mind, he hasn't faced any of the Sanyaku yet, and he's only lost to uh, Magashira 15, Surugisho. Takiyasu, runner-up seven times, as recent as November last year, where he lost uh, the fight off to Abi. He's 7-1 and one from Magashira 7. You would have to think that Takiyasu is now in the running fairly well. I, 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 honestly, I can't see Atami Fuji getting to the Basho. Uh, he's still got to face some of the senior guys, but weirder things have happened in sumo. 
six and two, we've got Wakamoto Haru, our uh, Sekiwake, Surigisho, six and two, Miyagiru at six and two, and Gonayama doing well at six and two. Five and three, our Karaban Ozekis, uh, Takakesho and Kirishima. Look, I would think that both of those guys will make their uh, Kachikoshi uh, before the end of next week. Uh, Tobizaru, our Komasubi, is at five and three. Hopefully he will push out his uh, Kachikoshi to keep his Komasubi rank. Ura, Hokuto Fuji, Endo, Kinbozan, who I'm very impressed with. Onosho, Mitakayumi, who's doing much better this tournament. And Shonanomi. All on sitting on five and three. Really good effort by those guys. I think um, uh, certainly Kinbozan, he seems to be settling in after a bit of a nervous start over the last few tournaments. Kotonowaka, Daesho, uh, Nishikigi, Takanosho, Asanayama, Abi, Hokuseho, Kagiyaki, Sadanumi, Takara Fuji, and Nishiki Fuji all sitting on four and four. There's a few bit of work to be done there, certainly by our Shin Sekiwake, Kotonowaka, and our other uh, senior guys, Daesho and Nishikigi. Four and four, they'll be a little bit disappointed with that. The person who will be disappointed is Hoshoryu, our Shinozeki, who's three and five, looking for five wins from the last seven days. He can't afford to be dropping matches like he is. Uh, either he's carrying an injury or something's not right in uh, mentally. He seems to have nerves. He's not really stable. Uh, just not doing his sumo the way he does his sumo. As well, Meisei struggling. Our Magashira won at three and five. Midori Fuji having another fairly poor tournament in three and five. But as I said, he seems to be improving as the tournament goes on in the way he's uh, wrestling. Even though he's three and five, I think he was in lu- unlucky maybe in two of those matches. Uh, just a little bit unlucky and probably should have been five and three, to be honest. Shodai and Shonanumi all sitting on three and five. Uh, our guys who are in real trouble uh, with seven days to go. Hiradumi, Kota Eko, Ryuden, Oho, Koto Shoho, Chiyoshoma, Dai Shoho and Aoyama. I would think that uh, Chiyoshoma, Dai Shoho and Aoyama are headed back to Jurio if they're not careful and start winning every match from here on in. Maybe even uh, Ryuden. Tamawashi in deep strife at 0 and 8, but he, as I said, he's faced all of the Sanyaku so far, so maybe he might have a, an easier time of it to try and save a few ranks. Uh, he's certainly not going to make his Kachikoshi leading into the end of this tournament. So that's day eight. Uh, some of the Zekis with some work to do, some of our Sekiwake with work to do, or our Senyaku, uh, some lower rank guys doing quite well. Uh, some really good matches there. Uh, have enjoyed it so far. I hope you're enjoying the Akibasho. Anyway, I'll come back to you in a couple of days and we'll have a look at the, the next few days of tournaments as we lead into the final part of the the uh, Akibasho and see who's going to lead us into day 15 and try and win the Emperor's Cup. Anyway, everyone, listeners, hakyoi, let's learn sumo.